She was drunk. Well, we all thought it was something like that. We did. We did. We did. Hell, it had to be. Now, folks, look. We're about to listen to the number one show in Dewey County on the line with Leonard, where your business is everybody's business. And now, here's station manager, Leonard Childers. coming at you live from station radio station OKKK Radio, where every week we take a little bit to find out just what's up, Tuna Crawl. Uh, now the lines are already lighting up, and we'll be getting to our let it out calls, but first, this week in Tuna. Uh, I got a message here from the Reverend Spax over at Coweta Baptist Church. He's saying he's sponsoring another record burning. Uh, he says bring all your Chuck Berry, your Brenda Lee, and... Uh, Little Richard, um, oh, but he says, leave your Elvis and your buddy Holly at home. They're good southern boys, they'll be forgiven. Okay, what's next? Uh, ooh, Ida Thompson is sponsoring another trip to Eureka Passion Springs play over in Arkansas. And she says, if you've signed up, be at the First Baptist Methodist parking lot at 7.45 a.m. She says, if you're not there by 7.45 a.m., she's gonna leave you. Well, folks, time to get to our first call. You're on the line with Leonard, let it out. <clears throat> Hello, Leonard. It's Dee Dee Snavely. Dee Dee, turn that radio down. Sorry. Folks, you have to remember to turn your radios down because it just blows the hell out of my ears. I'm sorry, Leonard. What's up, Dee Dee? You know, Leonard, I was wondering if there was anything we could do about those Halloween pranksters. It's kind of early for Halloween, ain't it? Well, you wouldn't be saying that, Leonard, if you had known what I'd been through. Now, now, soaping windows and, and letting the air out of tires is one thing, but I draw the line at mental anguish. Can you hear me, Leonard? I hear you, Dee Dee. You know, those kids, they came over last year in the middle of the night and they poured sorghum syrup all over my front porch. Well, that's real mean. Oh, I'm not even getting, I'm not, I'm not even done. I'm just getting started, Leonard. You know, and my, my mom, she comes over at 5.30 every morning and that lady, when she hit the sorghum syrup, she stopped dead in her tracks. Dee Dee, that's real mean. Oh, Leonard, it's not funny, Leonard. It's not funny at all. That woman stood out there for two and a half hours. She watched the sun come up. <laughs> Who could think anything that mean? Well, you know, I'm, I'm almost positive that Virgil Cox had something to do with it, but I don't have any proof. You know, it sounds like something Virgil would do. You know what? If he comes over to my house this year, he better have a high threshold for pain. Now, Dee Dee, we all know you wouldn't hurt that boy. Oh, hide and watch, Leonard. Hide and watch. Virgil, if you're listening, just know the woman who means business. But, Leonard, the damage has already been done. You know, I can't even pour syrup on my pancakes without thinking of that poor little old lady standing on the front porch just trying to reach the doorbell. Now, Dee, this ain't nothing to get upset about. Just take one of your nerve pills. You know what, Leonard? I, I think I might. Thank you, Dee. <sighs> Folks, Dee, Dee has a rough life down there running that store. She's got to let out, a lot to let out. Okay, hey, look, you're on the line with Leonard. Let it out. Did you know 
wish you the best of luck this time around. Well, you only got to win once. <laughs> Thank you, Phyllis. I'll tell you, your woman had her time. Phyllis Bly has been running for city council for the past 14 years. Hasn't even made it to first base. Well, I can tell you, everyone down here at Station OKK is rooting for you. All right. Hey, look, you're on the line with Leonard. Let it out. Uh, this is Scarlett Viewmiller. What do you want, Scarlett? Keep it clean. Well, I was just listening to your last phone call, and if the government wants to put a tax on anything, they should put a tax on stupidity. Now, Scarlett, this is a serious program. Get to it. I am serious. If there was a tax on stupidity, Finnis Bly would be in the top bracket. Scarlett, Finnis Bly is a stand-up citizen, unlike some people I know. Uh, he's making her a little idiot. Now, Scarlett, there's no need to get into any name calling. Well, he's a pet pet idiot. Scarlett! <laughs> hey, hey, why don't you tell Finnis Bly to kiss my referendum? <laughs> Scarlett, you can't say that on the radio. Folks, I hate to say anything bad about Bertha Lee Miller's girl, but we all sure hope that here in reform school would have done her some good. She came out being a loose lean. I reckon there's just some people you can't help. All right, folks, looks like we got time for one more caller. Hey, hello, you're on the line with Leonard. Let it out. Hello, Leonard, it's Dee Dee Snavely again. Uh, <laughs> hey, Dee Dee. You know, I was wondering, is there anything we can do about the homeless people underneath the bridge? You mean under that overpass? Yes, yes, that one. You know, it's just getting so crowded, you can't even dump the trash there anymore. And you can smell them all the way over from Coteau County. You know, there is enough soap in the world to keep everybody clean, am I wrong? I mean, you're not wrong. Thank you. And, and my sister, R.R., R., instead of mine in the store, she goes over every day to drink with me. Hey, isn't that where R.R. R. spotted that flying Mexican food? No, it is not. And, and Leonard, it is very white of you to suggest so. Hey, Will. 